Genre, Drama. Why the Sun and Moon Live in the Sky. Essential Question. How can we understand nature? Read about how the sun and moon ended up in the sky. This play is based on an African folktale that tells how the moon and sun ended up in the sky. Characters. Narrator. Sun. Moon. Sun's wife. Water. Narrator. Long ago, sun, moon, and water live together on earth. Sun and moon are eating breakfast at home. Sun. I will visit my good friend water today. Moon. That sounds enjoyable, but why doesn't water ever visit us? Do you feel ashamed or embarrassed to invite water here? Sun. No, I am proud of our house. I will invite water today. Sun visits water at the beach. Sun. Water, why don't you ever visit us? Water. Your house can't hold me and my family. Sun. That's nonsense. Moon and I will enlarge our house, so there will be plenty of room for everyone. Water. Then I will visit you. Sun. Wonderful. Please holler loudly so I hear you when you arrive. Now I must dash home quickly to start the work. Sun rushes home. Narrator. Sun and Moon raced to make their home larger. They added rooms and raised the roof higher. The new house was completely different and had no similarities to their old home. They felt it was a victory, or a win, for now their friend could visit. Water. Sun and Moon, I have arrived. Sun. Isn't this the largest home you've seen? Moon. Sun. It's not polite to brag, so please don't boast to our guest. Water. Come inside. Narrator. Water splashed through the door, carrying colorful fish, frogs, and crabs. As the water began to rise, sun and moon climbed onto furniture. Then they scrambled onto the roof. Sun. Moon. I'm not sure about the wisdom of inviting water. Perhaps this wasn't a smart idea. Moon. No, son. It was the right thing to do, but we must fly to safety. Narrator. Sun and moon flew to the sky, where they remain today and still shine down on water. Make connections. What does this folktale explain about nature? How is this story different from what you know about the sun and the moon?